Hello, today we're going to take a look at Sample versus Arpeggiator. Sample versus Arpeggiator goes a step beyond the standard arpeggiator. It offers many tools to create complex phrases that are expressive and evolving. You can control the speed and octave range of the arpeggiator in the edit section here. But the heart of the arpeggiator is in the sequencer found in the advanced editor here. The ARP sequencer replaces the normal mode settings that you will find in most arpeggiators. Instead of setting the arpeggiator to play notes up, down, or randomly, the sequencer allows you to create customized phrases. You can program what happens when you play up to five notes. This allows you to create layers of melodies that become more rhythmically and melodically complex as you add more notes. The notes that you play will be displayed here. Here I have set up a simple three note sequence that just plays the notes that I have inputted normally at the speed that I have set. You can take this a step further by working with the note lane tools. In each note lane, you can set when the note will be triggered, its velocity, length, and the amount that it will be transposed. You can set the length of individual notes by dragging the end of the note to the desired length. And you can set the lengths of all notes that you enter by setting the grid size here. You can choose to edit the velocity or transpose here. Velocity will be set from zero to 100% and transpose will be set from minus 24 semitones to plus 24 semitones. As well as setting the length of each note, you can set the length of the sequence and bars here. And if you would like to give your arpeggiation swing or groove, you can turn snapping off here to move the notes off the grid. Here is a more advanced arpeggiation using the note lane tools. Each note has varying lengths, transposition, and velocity. And the melody becomes more complex the more notes that you play. Once you have made an arpeggiation sequence that you're happy with, you can save it in the art menu here. Along with saving your patterns, you can also load your patterns, the included patterns, and clear all notes in the current pattern. Thanks for watching our sample verse arpeggiator video. In our next video, we'll take a closer look at the LFO.